Freaks, what's up? I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking before you even think it, before you even say it, before the keyboard warriors even type it down in the comments below. How different can this Tube Screamer be from, say, this one or every other Tube Screamer clone or copy or variant out there on the market? I was thinking it, to be honest, too, in my head. I thought, oh boy, another Tube Screamer. What's this going to be like? How's it going to be different from every other one out there? Well, spoiler alert, lo and behold, it's different. It's definitely one of the best ones I've ever heard. Let me show you the difference right now between these two because you're probably rolling your eyes at me. Okay, now that's what setting the knobs as close as I could on each pedal and matching up the tones as close as I could. Sounds different, right? I preferred this one. What I dug about this one was that it has a more sort of complete overall sound without that delineation between clean and dirty that I hear with so many tube screamers. Long story short, it sounded more actually like a cranked up tube amp to me. It's a little warmer, has a little bit less sort of pedally hash on the top end. The low end cut is about the same on both of them, I would say. But this one is just a more sort of rounded, kind of mid-centric, complete sound that I just preferred. And that uh, held true throughout this entire video. I kept comparing it to this one for all the different tones that I was using on that track at the beginning of the video, and I always ended up preferring the sound that this one made. Is it a huge difference? No, it's not a huge difference. It's 15% or 20% different or something, but I did prefer it about that much more. Now, what's the story on this? Well, there's a fellow named Tamura, Mr. Tamura, tamura son, and he evidently is the original designer of the Tube Screamer pedal, and he looked at over 100 Tube Screamers over a period of a few years and compared them all. What he ended up finding is that the pedals that he preferred all had the same chip from the same manufacturer and manufactured around the same period of time. So they sourced a bunch of those chips and that's the chip that comes in the Maxon Apex 808. So I want to solo some of those parts from the song at the beginning of the video outside of the mix. Um, there's some parts that I did, the rhythm guitars where the amp was essentially crystal clean and then I just boosted with the Maxon Apex 808 got kind of a, a little bit of a dirty colored boost going with it. That's the rhythm guitars. Uh, for the lead guitars, I cranked up the drive a little bit on the pedal for the first solo, and then for the second solo, I cranked it up quite a bit more and ran it into the drive channel, actually, in my PT-15 amp, which was set for crunch, and I did the, the sort of boost the Marshall thing with this pedal. So I got a variety of different tones going, a couple different guitars, all that good stuff. And I'll also give you some more playing examples. Let's check it out. It's the Maxon Apex 808. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thanks for watching my video on the Maxon Apex 808, designed by Mr. Tamura to uh, be the greatest tube screamer of all time, or at least match up with the greatest vintage ones. Features the same chip that the best sounding ones from the old days used. And it really is, I think to my ears, one of the best tube screamers I've ever tried, that's for sure. You can check it out further, that website you see down there in the video description below. Click down there and it'll take you to a link to tell you all about the Maxon Apex 808. Please hit subscribe if you haven't, and hit the little bell beside the subscribe. You'll get an alert every time I put out a new video. And come back and see me for more videos real soon. I am Pete Thorne. Take care. See ya.